Was this what you had in mind? That's three. That should take care of any bad karma. Or... But how did that first letter get in here? I wonder if I could track it to the source.
reminder, the law of three also applies to all faucets within the oldest house. Be mindful and don't cause any aquatic misconduct. Thank you for your attention. Reminder, the law of three also applies to all faucets within the oldest house. Be mindful and don't cause Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Good evening, all you fine-looking folks. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears as we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right on in. Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Tickets, please. Tickets.
afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Good Limited evening, bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready yes. and enjoy the ride. Well, that was... chaotic. Felt like it was trying to tell me something. I wonder if I can make sense of it. Tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Next stops Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Tickets, please. Tickets. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Next stops, Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Good evening, all you fine looking folks. Tickets, please. Tickets. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears as we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right on in. Pretty dark ride, huh? But I hope you're done replaying it now.
need another power core.
He was hideous. He tore the security door into the Bray Falls AWE site wide open. He was so ugly. Like, wow, I got a good look at him, and Christ, he does not look like he used to. The hiss must have messed him up or something. He, he, he looks like a, a bar rag that's been twisted by the world's strongest man. Or a monster from some 80s horror movie. You know, back when it was all practical effects? Ugh, nasty. Real Did you say something? Instant. Remember, I can't hear you. Never mind, just go after Hartman. Ah, oh, so disgusting. I've written, rewritten. The darkness wants... I've written and rewritten. Deconstructed, reconstructed. Experimented with different voices. Changed the style, changed myself. Forgotten the language, relearned the language. Have I been here before? Gone down this path before? The darkness wants to hide the past to make me lose my way. You must know where you've been to know where you're going. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. My notes to myself. The only way to make progress, recap, then write more. The style, then. Lose the fat. Make it clear. Ugly. Functional. Present. Be blunt. Only the brutal truth. Cut through the reality. Tear it apart. Rewrite it. Be clever. Make them do the work. Form the image in their minds. They make it. You just imply. Incept. They're drawn to the mystery. Obsessed. You set it up. They put it together, their interpretation, and there's only one because you give them no choice. And they believe in it because it's theirs now. I've written. to make me lose my way. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. Cut through the reality, tear it apart, and rewrite it. They are drawn to mystery. Thank you for meeting with us again, Doctor. Thank you for meeting with us again, Doctor Arman. It's my pleasure, gentlemen. I hope the information I provided thus far has been of some small use. It's been invaluable, Doctor. Really, we have a much clearer picture of this event, thanks to your accounts. Well, I do consider myself a keen observer of... We did have one question, though. You mentioned in an earlier conversation that your patients displayed and I'm paraphrasing here, unnatural abilities that you, in fact, encouraged during their time in your lodge. It'd be very helpful if you could fill us in on the details there. Of course. Like yourselves, I work to understand and even bend the rules of our earthly paradigm. My patient's well-being was paramount, of course, but I would hardly be a man of science if I did not reach out at the underlying truth. As I stated in my written proposal, 
I believe working alongside your organization could be greatly beneficial to both parties. Sharing notes, as they say. Thank you, Doctor. That's all we need to hear. Remy? Dr. Emil Hartman, you have been found in breach of codes 4, 8, and 74 of the Federal Bureau of Control Criminal Offense System. What? You can't do this? I am a well-connected man. You're making a dire mistake, my friend. You will be detained until further notice and all personal property will be confiscated, including the Cauldron Lake Lodge. That's preposterous. You can't just seize my property. I'm a United States citizen. I have rights. That lodge is my life's work. I'm offering you years of research. Get him out of here. You're making a mistake. You have to listen to me. You have to listen. It's my pleasure, gentlemen. I hope the information I provided thus far has been of some form. I've forgotten again. I've had a plan. I know it. I forgot. Whatever is going on with Wake, he clearly needs some help. The story needed many beginnings, many springs, streams that turned into a river, a flood, and then an ocean. This was one. Wake used the materials he had, the connections he had, the people, the places. Wake put them in to make it true. His wife, the psychiatrist, his city. These connections, like magnets, move things. Alice was a conduit. She'd been in the dark place. The thing that had been Hartman sensed her near, sensed Wake through her, went berserk, broke loose. Wake made sure Alice was already gone by then. Safe. The more springs, the more the story became real, the more people believed. Cause and effect. It was extremely delicate and hard work. It had to go through the path of least resistance where success was most likely, where there was a connection already. Wake felt the pressure grow in his head going mad. Wake had to escape. Right. His. Escape. He was already out. He wanted to make it true. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special. Something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Something that can't be translated. 
Translated. Wake channeled Burroughs and Bowie. He cut up sentences and words. Orange peel. You are home. Insane. He put them in a shoebox. He pulled out the words. We created a Dada's poem. I'd try anything once. Or had he tried this before? To escape right is escape. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special, something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Another replica. Like the one they made for Ordinary. What happened here? This is Director Faden. Send a ranger to my position. Nice to see a director out in the field. Are the notes of Dr. Emil Hartman. I am continuing my work alone again since certain parties were too blind to recognize a golden opportunity. Despite my generous offers, the conversations came to naught. Some people simply do not value collaboration as I do. Though I believe now that it was for the best. The sort of bold pioneering work that I am undertaking cannot thrive under the shackles of bureaucracy and regulation. I have a history of seeking such partnerships. There was a time when I had hoped Alan Wake and I could collaborate. Together we could have produced art such that the world has never seen. But Wake was stubborn, egotistical. Writers usually are. Disappointing nonetheless. But now, like Tom before him, Wake has disappeared into Cauldron Lake. And this is where my work turns hypothetical. Since he was lost to the lake, Thomas Zane has been observed by various townspeople. This indicates to me that the individuals within the lake are not entirely gone. I anticipate Wake will similarly return one day. While I may harbor some resentment for the man, 
His raw talent and determination are undeniable. From this, I have concluded that the lake and the dark place within it are not as removed from this world as I previously thought. Given my acute awareness of what awaits within, my meticulous preparations, and my considerable education, I believe myself much more prepared than either Tom or Wake. I should be able to cross into that dark realm with the chance to return as they have. All that remains is the dive itself. It frightens me, I admit, but such is the burden of the truth seeker. I will take my plunge into the dark tomorrow with only the light of knowledge to guide me. It is time for a breakthrough until I return.
Hartman won't be a problem anymore, Langston. But investigations need someone to run it. Interested? I've seen what happens to sector heads, ma'am. No, thank you. Ma'am, I'm getting something on my terminal here, an AWE alert from Bright Falls, Washington. But it might be a glitch. The date's all wrong a couple of years in the future. And we're in lockdown. There shouldn't be any incoming signals. Maybe it was active before we went into lockdown? Are there agents on site? Let me check. Agent Estevez is the field agent in charge of monitoring the site, so she should be there to let us know if the situation has been through any major changes recently. Follow the cause. It's happening again. Oh, turn. 